welcome back to Jay's Real Reef UK. 2021 is all about bringing my Red Sea 75 litre Max Nano tank to maturity by the end of 2021 with beautiful corals, beautiful fish and a healthy clean up crew. Yes, I did say 75 litres, not 175 litres like I did in my previous video. That's me hoping of a bigger tank in the future. Anyway, the reason for this video is to give a special mention to Reef King. Thanks Reef King for the mention in your previous video. Uh, I know you're adding new ventilation to your coral room. If you haven't seen Reef King's channel, go across to Reef King's channel. He's a straight talking guy. He tells it as it is and he gives some really good advice. And I appreciate the mention, mate. As Soon as this lockdown is over, We'll drive down to London or the South East, wherever you're based, and we'll pick up some of your beautiful corals. I love what you said about we're all in it together. We are all reefers. And on that note, I'd like to thank some of my favourite YouTube reefers that have helped me out with uh, my uh, aquarium over the last uh, few months. So a big shout out to Moggs' Aquarium. If you haven't checked him out, he does an amazing channel over near Manchester. He's just taught me how to frag corals, so please check him out. The Bearded Reefer up in... Uh, probably in a snowy Scotland today. Uh, check his channel out, The Bearded Reef. Sorry, I always say that, Bearded Reef. Check him out. Uh, he's just on his new journey with his water box 15 gallon. A uh, huge shout out to Neil's uh, Aquarium. Love his channel. He's had a few issues at the moment, but he's sticking with it. And mate, you will get there. Uh, also, uh, Reef Community Worldwide. I love your lives. Can't wait for the next one uh, that's going to be, I guess, sometime soon, hopefully. Uh, also, a big shout out to Reef Dudes, uh, Paul UK Reefer. Wow, what a project you've got going. And Prestige Reef. Well, there is some dreams there for me as well also a big shout out to Nathan Willard and Corey Willard if, if you haven't seen any of these channels or you're not following them at the moment please do they're absolutely awesome well today's video is also if you've seen on the uh, on the message at the title at the top it's a new coral delivery Neil Smith if you're watching Neil Smith Neil Smith on my previous video commented at the bottom to say what you need is a Duncan coral now you probably noticed that I'm a big fan of water testing. I think that's because I'm new to the hobby, but also the fear of losing a little bit of livestock. And you know what? Secretly, I actually really enjoy it at the moment. So I'm enjoying the water testing as well. But to cut down on my daily water testing, uh, I've been told by Neil Smith to get a Duncan coral. Now these act a bit like a canary in the coal mine. If the Duncan closes up, you know that your water parameters are not quite right. Maybe you need a water change. So I went online to see who was delivering and Fraggle Reef. Now Fraggle Reef is about 40 miles that way. Uh, I'd love to go and visit, but obviously we're in uh, a full lockdown, so I'm not gonna risk that. So I've gone mail order. So um, I'm a bit dubious about this because as you can see, today's weather is a little bit uh, frosty. So I'm hoping my Duncan Coal arrives safely and is in full health. Um, and it's coming with FedEx this morning. So it's my first experience of on, uh, online delivery of a coral. So we'll take a look, see how it is and get it acclimated. Let's go take a look. So I've just taken delivery of my very first online coral order. I've ordered it from fragglereef.co.uk. I know many um, fish shops at the moment are, are re reinstated online coral delivery. Uh, now it's post Christmas. Uh, they feel that they can get the livestock there in, in good enough time. It had a delivery slot between 9 and 12. Uh, mine arrived actually at 1pm this afternoon, so it was outside the delivery slot. I said to the guy, um, how come it was a little bit late? He said he had a flat tyre, so uh, all's fair in love and war, I guess. But anyway, it's here. Hopefully it survived, because as you know, it's been very frosty today. Um, what have I got in here? Well, as I say, based on Neil Smith's advice, I've bought a Duncan two-headed coral from Fraggle Reef uh, yesterday, and then obviously it's come today. Um, the coral itself cost me £23.70 for this two-headed coral, um, and the delivery charge was £13.95. And then that gives you a grand total of £37.65 for this new addition to Jay's Real Reef UK tank. So what have we got in here? So, 
cardboard box we've got what have we got here five day guarantee from fraggle reef that's my invoice payment invoice comes in styrofoam obviously for insulation as i say never never had an online call order so this is going to be an interesting experience handle with care right i need the scissors again very well packaged Hopefully that gets us in. Here we go. So we've got a bit of newspaper in case we get bored and we'll have a little read or something. Oh, it's, it's the heat packs that's in there, so that's the heat packs. What's in the news actually? Save our Christmas, Boris Johnson. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for the one day of um, Christmas where we could see our friends and family boys. Anyway, let's put him to one side. This is more important. What have we got in here? So there is, let's move this out of the way so we can get a better look. Just pop that over there. There is our coral. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I've got my turkey baster. This is going to be to jet down my coral. Uh, as you know, I use Reef Dip Sea Chem. Uh, this is to kill off any hitchhikers, pests, anything like that because at the moment the tank is pest free. Very fortunate and touch touch wood that it is. Um, so we're going to do a reef dip. So we're going to do a three stage dip. Um, first stage, then we're going to have a two little rinsing stages, then it'll go in to the tank. So let's get this little guy out of here. Now, on the picture it looked really good, but I know that you can't always go by the pictures for some of these websites because they don't always use the exact picture. I think that's a little bit naughty, really. I think you should use the actual picture. Right, there it is. It's out and about. Now, it looks really colourful on the image. It looks like a rainbow. The frag plug is really clean. In fact, I would guess that this is very... Is a very new frag. The actual coral looks pretty healthy itself. We'll give him a little dip in the reef dip sea chem. Never put anything in your tank before you give it a little wash. Or so they say. Safe for stony, soft corals and polyps. Right. So you normally put a little cap full in. Um, I'm just going to put a few drips in. There we go. It's only one coral and there isn't much water in there either. So there we go. Make sure you've got gloves on. A few splashes. Right, there's our reef dip. Made a bit of a mess of that. Right, so we're going to um, mix it up. Yep. And then what I like to do is give it a good, good jetting down. Now. As I say, this looks like it's been fragged in the last few days, so it's so it's um, so nothing is coming off. By the way, that's the sound of the turkey baster and not me. Right, we'll get back to you once this little coral's had a bath. It'll stay in here for about 15 minutes in the, in the reef dip, and then we'll start to rinse it off and get it into the tank. See you in a bit. So here is the two-headed Duncan coral. Uh, absolutely no detritus whatsoever has come off this coral. So fair play to Fraggle Reef. Uh, it does say it looks like it's newly fragged. And it's looking very stressed compared to its original pitch. I think this is a beauty of getting it online as well because you don't actually know what this coral looks like until you get it in there. Whereas when you go to the shop you can see it at its best. So I'm just giving it a two dip rinse. You can give it a three dip rinse as well or four dip, it's up to you. Just to rinse off that sea chem. As I say it's been sat in there for 15 minutes. Then I'm going to put it into the tank. It's always going to start on the sand bed. All my corals start on the sand bed and then I start to raise them up the tank and move them into position depending on what flow and the intensity of light because the intensity of the Radeon XR15s is quite high on these upper rocks. So I'm just going to give it a say, give it a quick rinse and then I'm going to stick it in the tank and then uh, you can have a little look at it and, and I can look at it as well because I've never seen it for the first time yet. So there we have it, the two-headed Duncan Coral from Fraggle Reef is now in the tank. It's acclimating and it's caused a bit of a stir on the reef. 
the clownfish have come along to investigate what's going on and then there's also the snails coming to check it out. Huge thank you to Neil Smith if you're watching for in the comments of the previous video you said get yourself a Duncan Coral, it'll tell you everything you need to know about your water parameters. The minute it closes up, test the water parameters and find out what's going on. As you know, I love a test. And one of my tests that I've had to look at is the HANA nitrite test. I bought my nitrite checker about a month ago, but I've already run out of reagent because it is a tricky little test to do. So one of the things uh, that I've had to purchase directly from HANA is the new uh, nitrate checker reagent. Now I couldn't find this online from any of the LFS's uh, on the internet so I contacted Hannah directly and they sent me uh, this next day delivery um, that's where I got it from I couldn't find it anywhere else on the internet so uh, what do you get in the reagent packet um, you get a brand new set of filters a brand new bottle of the actual reagent so you get your filters your reagent your a and your c so your b and your c um reagent uh powders as well so that's what you get the hana reagent booster pack which covers 25 tests uh to test nitrate cost me a grand total of 24 pounds hana you do amazing instruments. I love the fact that uh, you give us a quantifiable number. But this is, goes back to my previous video on testing. You pay a price. The HANA checker, the nitrate checker is £70. And I've already had to spend £25 on topping up the reagents of the HANA test. Anyway, I don't like spending money as a Yorkshireman. Let's have a little look. I'm going to update you now on our livestock whilst that Duncan Coral is acclimating. So one development that we've had most recently uh, is the pom-pom crab. The pom-pom crab is coming out far more, but I think I know why. Take a look at this next video. So the lights are going down on the tank and here is the pom-pom crab which I haven't seen for a number of days. He's walking around what is in somewhat in broad daylight. He doesn't ever come out into this much space. Usually he's uh, tucked into the rocks. If you've uh, got one of these little pom-pom crabs you probably know. He's marching around the perimeter of the glass and he's come across this snail which seems to have caught his interest. Now this uh, is a rounded snail. Um, which is perfectly alive, he's stuck to the glass. He's probably about to start cleaning actually because it's the evening. Um, but I'm just a bit worried that the pom-pom has taken a little bit of a liking to the rounded snail. So I'm gonna watch him carefully and hopefully I don't have to put him on the naughty step for attacking or eating the snail. Now he has eaten one of the snails, the rounder snails, but the rounder snail had already died and he uh, took the opportunity to um, clean up basically after the rounder snail had died. But this one is perfectly living, there's nothing wrong with it, so I'm just going to sit and watch and see what happens. I am obviously happy that I've seen the pom pom alive and well uh, without his pom poms. Uh, but um, just it just looks like he's in hunting mode at the moment so I'm going to keep a close eye on him and uh, see how he gets on. Back to the studio. So over the last week Little Almond is becoming more confident in the tank and he's out this morning even though the camera's quite close to him he's out this morning having his little breakfast and so was his friend uh, the pistol the little Randall pistol shrimp so there he is. Oh, and he's gone back in. If you've enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up. Hopefully that was a nice little update on Jay's Real Reef UK. Give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we next post out our video, probably over the weekend. Anyway, right for now, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go down to the park because Boris hasn't shut the parks. So we're gonna go take my little boy down to the park, the skate park on his scooter and have a little bit of fun down there. Anyway, it's great to see you guys. Wishing you all the best. Stay safe, stay well. Until the next time, bye-bye.